Hello guys, I am very thrilled and very sad at the same time to introduce you to this open source free vision model called as Dolphin Vision. I am thrilled because it's open source, it is free and it is from Cognitive Computing who has given us awesome models like Dolphin series. I am sad because it is a 72 billion model, huge model which I tried on my poor A6000 NVIDIA RTX card, it didn't run. I'm not even sure it would run on A100 card because the model is massive. But the performance and what I have read so far about this model is simply amazing. This model was just released like three hours ago and already I am more than sure that this is going to be a huge success. I'm just waiting for some cons to be done so that we would, it would be able to run it locally somehow and then we will test it out. But even with quants, I'm still sure it would take a lot of resources, but let's see how it proceeds. But in this video, I'm going to show you what exactly this model is and then why I'm so excited about it. Plus, I'm also going to give you the code through which you can run this model if you're lucky enough to have good GPUs where you would be able to run it. Okay, so as I said, Cognitive Computing has just dropped this amazing model. This model has been created by Eric Hartford, Lucas Atkins and Fernando Fernandez and Cognitive Computing. This model is built on Lava Next and Dolphin 2.9.2-unto 72 billion. This model is unleashed and unfiltered, totally uncensored and it will tackle images that make other models swim away. It's a banger. It's the first multi multimodal model by cognitive computations and I believe that after Lava models which are quite outdated and old now, this model is going to be the next benchmark in my humble opinion. I might be wrong but I believe that at least that this model is going to set new standards that I am more than sure about. Now. Dolphin Vision is a multimodal model as I mentioned earlier it supports text images and it is uncensored it is capable to reason and comment regarding images that other popular models would object to and you know what I mean it is totally uncensored you can generate any sort of images and you can just do whatever you want and your fantasies uh, have just taken a new turn so if you're looking for an uncensored model, which is also multimodal vision, you can generate images, you can talk to your images. This is the model. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is based on Lava Next and Dolphin 2.92 unto 72 billion. I already have covered that Dolphin uh, 2.92 unto and that was an amazing model. That model has 128K context length and the full weight fine tuning was with 8K sequence length. Also, it was trained FFT on parameters. Also, it has a variety of instruction, conversational and coding skills. It also has initial agentic abilities and supports function calling. And again, this is totally uncensored. I'm saying it again and again because it will be NSFW in my opinion. And you have to be careful where you are using it. The dataset has been filtered to remove alignment and bias. And this makes the model more compliant. So you need to implement your own alignment layer before exposing the model as a service or before deploying it in the production because it is going to be highly compliant with any request even the unethical ones so take the hint and just understand what i'm trying to say here also this is licensed according to unto tongi one one license and so you would just need to read that license on unto website to see what exactly that is Another component in the mix is Lava Next for this model. Lava Next is a next generation Lava model with improved reasoning, OCR and world knowledge. How good the OCR is? Let me show you one example from their Hugging Face model card. If you look at this example, so this is simply an image which uses some text, then there are some images <clears throat> and then there are different fonts and there are some alphanumeric characters too. And once the prompt has been part, uh, passed on through this prompt template. There you go. So it has produced a very, very finely written response with all the bells and whistles there. Now, 
I was talking about the size of this model. It is huge. So if you go to the files, you will see that there are 31 files of around uh, 5 gig of size somewhere that. So it is quite big. I mean, more than close to 150 GB, something like that. So <clears throat> it is huge model. So I'm not sure even you can run it on a single GPU, maybe multi GPU setup would really shine. So I wish I would have that. But anyway, I should st I will stop wishing that but amazing model really love it. Now, let me show you the code that if you're lucky enough, how can you run it on your local system? So let me take you to my VS code. So this is a code. First, you would need to install all of these libraries like pip install torch transformers below. Make sure you install the latest ones. Then we are importing them and then we are just ignoring the warnings and stuff. We are putting it to GPU. I'm not sure why they have written CPU here, which CPU would run in this big model. Anyway, so specify the model name and then we are just initializing and downloading the model with the devices and all this stuff. And then this is the prompt. You can, of course, use your own prompt and then grab the image and then just create a prompt template, give it to the tokenizer. And from there, we are just converting the text into chunk, converting it into tokens. This is the image, convert it into tensors. And then from there, generate the output from the model and the model is going to decode it for you. So this is how simple it is to run. Uh, if you have the GPU, the so code is simple, model is simple. The real problem is uh, the resources. But anyway, I think um, I'm hoping that soon, sooner rather than later, we will have some cons available through which we should be able to use it. Now, if Lava Next is any guide, then if you are using it in local environment, I would suggest that you use padding underscore side as equal to left when computing batched generation as it leads to more accurate result also um, and you would just need to include it in your tokenizer that's it also uh, note that each checkpoint in lava next has been trained with a specific prompt format depending on which large language model was used so i already showed you the prompt template for it in the example so try to use that one to have uh, an optimal performance but all in all i think this is really correct and i can't really wait to uh, get my hands on this model because if you have seen my videos where i have covered the previous dolphin models the text base i mean you might know that those models were really awesome in quality anyway so i will drop the link to this model card in video description let me know how you go and if you manage to get it installed and play around with it, please do share your experience. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps. Thanks for watching.